I am back with another modification for the Ender 3. Uh, you may remember I've made a lot of modifications that snap on. I'm a big fan of not uh, taking apart the stock Ender. I like just adjusting it so that it stays as close to stock as possible, as long as you can keep it that way. If you end up wanting to change your extruder and all that stuff, fantastic. But mine is working well, so I'm going to roll with it as long as I can. So. I created this little fella that simply slides on and uh, helps the filament come through. I've got the snap-on in the back. So created this snap-on filament bearing that prints in place. You'll notice this is a one-piece print, as is this. Uh, there is no metal bearing in that one. I have designed them with the metal bearing, but uh, I kind of like the challenge of making them so they print in place as well. And then right now, I'm tackling the filament tension. You will see a lot of posts uh, all across the internet about how this spring does not give enough tension. So right now, I am printing an adapter that lets us adjust the uh, filament tension so that we can get the correct amount of tension without stretching the spring. That is a common choice is to just stretch the spring out. But we'll wait just a minute, and I'll show you how I plan on solving it. Friends, so remember, I am all about non-destructive mods, so here is your unveiling of my modification for the spring tension. So there's a nub that that spring is sitting on. I've created this adjustable sleeve that slides in between it. I marked it. This is a 1 with an arrow pointing to the 1 millimeter thick side, and this side is the 0.5 millimeter thick side. And now we just need to put it where the original spring was. Alright, so this is probably the most kittywampus view I could ever give you. But it lets you see the spring and it lets you see how I pop it out. So I'm going to just use the screwdriver to put a little tension and pull it off the little nub. And then I'm going to take my nub and I don't have a lot of problem with extrusion. So I'm putting in the half millimeter side. Slide it in place and then simply replace the spring using the same kind of technique where I nudge it with a screwdriver so I can get it in there. And that way everything is still stock and you have added a little bit of tension and then you can go right back to your printing operation. Once again, another project that allows you to modify your Ender 3 without deviating too far from a stock configuration. Friends, thanks for watching. If you like this and find it useful, please click the like button. If you want to add a comment about it, please put it in the comments below. If you want to subscribe, please click that button. And if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from HL Mod Tech, click that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.